Hi everyone, I just want to do a short video, hopefully, talking about um, what happens when we're born again. So when we're born again, it's like being born, really. Um, a, a baby is born, um, is supported or while it's in the womb, it's um, being fully supplied um, and cared for by the mother's body and it has nothing basically except the mother um, doesn't have anything with it it's just there it's naked it's and it's completely reliant on the mother and then um, even after it's born, it's completely reliant on its mother. Comes into the world with nothing, literally, just just itself. Um, no, uh, nothing with it. It's it's naked, and the mother provides for it, gives it clothing, food, and care, and um, helps it to grow and and trains it um, in the way that. Um, it should go so it, that's what it's like for us when we're born again um, as uh, 2 Corinthians 5.17 says therefore if any man be in Christ he is a new creature all things are passed away behold all things are become new so um, our flesh is our old nature our old man that we were physically born with um, is passed away literally well <laughs> uh, as literal as it can without us actually being physically dead but spiritually it's dead and um, and we're born again we're born new um, of spirit and we, br we leave the flesh behind. We don't bring that old nature with us. Um, I mean, it's still there, obviously, because we have our physical body and our soul realm. Um, but uh, the, the real us, the us that is going to go to heaven, is the spiritual new man. And the flesh will be done away with when we die or are raptured. And as John 3 verses 3 and 6 says, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, ver verily I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. So our new man is born of spirit. And it doesn't bring any, any of the old nature with it it's it's new it's all new no baggage um, that the old nature is crucified and left at the cross um, and yeah that's what this picture represents we come with our flesh to the cross and it is crucified when we believe the gospel and it's dead and buried and then we're raised to new life in Christ Jesus we're born of the spirit um, so we have to, by faith, reckon the old man dead and buried and not, not try and resurrect it, not try and bring that old nature um, back up to life and as though it has some kind of value and, and can be used to serve God. Um, Hebrews 9, 11 to 14 um, but Christ becoming else, oh, but but Christ being come an high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. So when he went into the into God's presence with his blood, he. Um, brought us eternal redemption and that 
It's by that blood that we are cleansed, um, his death that we were born again um, by believing in his death, burial and resurrection. Um, but not only that, going forward from when we're uh, born again, we still only have the blood. Um, we can still only enter into the holiest of all, the presence of God, with his blood. We can't bring anything else with us. Um, we can't bring the old man with us, the old nature. Um, we, we have to leave everything behind and not place a value on anything other than Christ. Christ is the blood and it, we bring that to God and our, um, we can have our uh, consciences cleansed in order to access God. Um, for if the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of an heifer sprinkling on sprinkling the, the unclean sanctifieth to the purifying of flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? Um, so the, the things we try to do in our flesh even though it seems good, those things are dead works. Um, we can't bring that into the presence of God and serve God. So we can't serve the living God with our flesh. That is dead works. All we can do is come in, into God's presence, into the holiest of all, with his blood, with Jesus' blood. Um, and once we're in there, then we are walking in the Spirit um, and we can serve the living God and, and that is done by the Holy Spirit's power through us. Um, there's nothing we can do of ourselves in our flesh to please God. We go in by faith with his blood and then and in there we rest and he works through us and that is how we serve the living God. We can't bring anything to the table. There's nothing of value in the old creation, in the old nature that we can bring to God and say, here, this is my contribution. Um, let's be co-partners in this. Um, it, it's all him. And that's all I wanted to say. Okay, I hope that blesses you. Bye.